Hey guys, this is Rado, and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Today I'm back with a new Minecraft command tutorial. And as you saw from the title of the video, today I'm going to show you guys how to create, actually how to build some working microwaves in vanilla Minecraft using command blocks, of course. So let's get started. Alright, so the materials that we will need to build the structure of the microwave are three iron trapdoors, two levers, one stone slab, one wooden trapdoor and of course we will need a couple of common blocks to make the magic happen. Alright, so we start by placing two iron trapdoors, one facing this way, one facing this way, on a table or it doesn't matter, we are here for example in the Red Chef's kitchen. As you can see I have some old creations, if you guys want to watch them I will leave some cards appearing on the screen, we have a really nice fridge a uh, coffee machine and the microwave this time right so now we need to power these trapdoors so they are vertical and not horizontal that's it that's exactly what we want to do and then we place the third one on top of it you don't have to activate it because it's already deactivated right then what we need to do before placing a stone slab inside and then finishing with a wooden trapdoor we need to take this command block right here place it inside the microwave you will find this command in the video description there's a link if you click it you'll be forwarded on my webpage where you can find all the commands that i am using it will be the first command on the list you copy it you paste it inside this command block you click here click on done and then you can remove the command block if you see that nothing happened don't worry because we created an invisible armor stand inside the microwave and that's it now you can place a stone slab here and then a wooden trapdoor right here oh i forgot to scroll jet this sidebar uh, anyways i don't have to remove it because uh, so i can show you guys how it works and that's it we are done we don't need any materials anymore so now what we need to do we need to set up a couple of common blocks this is the line of common blocks that makes everything work but anyways before showing you the common blocks i want to show you guys that it works now this time I made the microwave work only with potatoes, but of course you guys can extend this to any kind of food in Minecraft. So let me open the trapdoor and as you can see a score here changed. So yeah, we are detecting when this trapdoor is opened or closed. So let me drop the potato inside. Oh, I actually got it. Sometimes I don't manage to drop the item inside, it stops right here in front. Alright, so we dropped the potato, let's close it. And as you can see, some smoke particles are generated. This means that the microwave is working, is doing his job. And when the score here reaches 300, it should turn into a baked potato. Let's see. All right, yeah, I did it. So we took it. Oh, I took it without opening the microwave. Ah, oh, I wish I could do something like this in real life. Make some magic tricks. Anyways, all right, then you, we can close the microwave and we got a baked potato. Now, as I said, you can extend this to any type of item, but now let me show you guys how it works. So, first of all, I created a scorebro objective, so you'll find this will be the second command in the list. You write it in the chat with a slash on in the front, and then activate it, and you'll be able to create the scorebro objective named Mike. Now, of course, it says that already exists because I have already created it uh, previously. Then. We need to set up this line of command blocks here. There are three, six command blocks. So make sure that you have a line that looks exactly like mine. If you want, you can pause the video and then come back. Once you're done with the line of command blocks, you, you will find all the commands in the video description. And make sure that the first command block here at the bottom is set on repeat, unconditional and always active. And all the others are set on chain, unconditional and always active. Right, so the first Three command blocks here are responsible for detecting if there is an item inside the microwave and also for detecting if the microwave is open or closed. So as you can see, if I open and close this trapdoor, the scoreboard here changes from minus one to plus one. So the first two command blocks here are going to detect if, you remember that armor stand that we previously summoned, if relative to that armor stand there is a wooden trapdoor that is opened or closed, we are going to give a different score to that armor stand. Now, if you want the, to recreate this creation into your world without having to change, you know, sometimes you have to change some of the values, like um, depending on the rotation of a block, depending on the facing direction. If you don't want to have any of this problem, build the microwave while you're looking north. Make sure that when you're looking north, you are facing towards the microwave. So if you do this, you'll not have to change any value. If you want to build it facing in another direction, you'll have to change like the detect block, change the coordinates and other stuff. But anyways, 
The first two command blocks here are going to detect if the trapdoor is open or closed, and depending on the damage value, we are going to give to set the score of that armor stand to 1 or minus 1. Then the third command block here is going to constantly increase the score of any item that is found inside the microwave. So basically any item that is close to that invisible armor stand, we are going to increase its score by 1. Then this command block here is going to generate some smoke particles every time that an item is found near that armor stand. So basically if I drop even the baked potato, come on. Alright, it doesn't want to do it. I said, I said it. It's hard to put it inside. Uh, let me drop it. Worst. Oh, okay. Perfect. So if we close this, you can see that some smoke particles are generated uh, on the item. So this is the command block that makes this happen. This command block here is going to give a tag to all items that are potato. So we are going to give a tag named potato to all the items that are uh, raw potatoes. So here you can change instead of potato if you want to have uh, to transform a raw pork chop into cooked pork chop all you have to do you change uh, potato with what is the data value pork chop so potato let's change it into pork pork chop that's it then the last command block here is going to check when that item has a score of 300 so basically after 15 seconds that the item is inside the microwave it will change into a cooked version of the item for example here we had baked potato let's use cooked pork chop cooked pork chop and it should work let's try it out i don't need this potato anymore let's take it out oh, all right we did it let's close it aha uh -huh, i see some smoke particles so maybe maybe it's doing its job let's wait 140 50 ticks and yeah it worked it worked, we have a cooked pork chop inside our microwave. So guys, that was it about today's creation, I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did so, don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up under this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leaving a like helps a lot this channel, the video to get noticed. As always, I want to thank you all guys for watching this video until the end and I'll see you all in my next video. See you, bye.